Star Wars toy hunting and it feels so good. Finding vintage collection on the shelves like you should. I don't care if it's beat up, cause it's the one that I want. And I am so excited cause Pre Vizsla is gonna be on collecting Star Wars, baby. Yeah. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. We're kicking off the new year with an all new Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. From Star Wars The Clone Wars, it's Pre Vizsla. I went on a Star Wars toy hunt to Walmart and found this beauty just hanging out on the peg. He's Vintage Collection number 299. The card's not in great shape, but that's okay because I am an opener. But hey, less talk, more action figure. Let's open them up and have some fun! <laughs> and ready to rock let's put on our super zoom lens and bring this guy in for a closer look at last one of the coolest characters from the clone wars has arrived to the vintage collection it's pre vizsla and how can you not think this guy is just so rad looking at the helmet looking at his armor everything about this character his attitude his aggression his arrogance and yes his aesthetic all make this character design a winner and a most welcome one to the vintage collection. That helmet is so iconic, so cool, but underneath you will see the face of Pre Vizsla, which is a really outstanding head sculpt, different than the animated series. Obviously, this one is made to look more realistic and less cartoonish, but they went ahead and gave him a different look. They took away his hair, so he's completely bald, but he's gruff, he's got that scar underneath his eye, the five o'clock shadow, all make him just look like a lifelike and rugged dude that you don't want to mess with, unless of course you are an accomplished Jedi or Sith like Obi-Wan or Maul. Looking at the Mandalorian armor, he's got unique paint markings which stand out on his design, a darker sort of blue-gray to the armor and to his clothes underneath. There's the gauntlets, some paint, red paint apps there. He's got the holsters for his pistols and the shin guards and the boots. So a familiar Mandalorian armor, but with the pre Vizsla look to it. And one thing that stands out and that's very unique to him is he's got a very different jet pack, different color, different red and black paint apps, different missile there. So all this make pre Vizsla a most excellent addition to the vintage collection. We'll now take a thorough look at Pre Vizsla and all the accessories that he comes with. And he comes with a lot, starting with, and most importantly, the Darksaber. Love this weapon, especially seeing it in animation for the first time, how it is a cool black blade that comes to life with this bright white border and the crackling of static and electricity and whatever that is that's shattering through the darkness of the blade is nicely done by these white marks in paint that are done very well on this Darksaber. Really like this, especially compared to 
Here's the previous one that we got in the vintage collection. This one comes from Moth Gideon, and you can see it's got a smaller white border, and it's got none of that white crackling at all on the blade. So I really appreciate what Hasbro's done with this pre Vizsla version, making it more animated, making it more vibrant and just cool, and kind of what we expect from the Dark Saber. There it is. He gets two of these classic Mandalorian pistols, both cast in all black, that fit well into his holster. And he gets his own very unique, very cool jetpack. Like this a lot. The color is great. The accents of black and red are another nice addition to it. And that missile, all black with a little silver on the top there. Very cool. Cool sculpt, good design, a good look for Vizsla. And once again, that excellent helmet with those Death Watch markings on the face, all the extra antenna, the extra color and sculpt and detail in the back. So just the back alone looks cool. It's a great profile. And yeah, just an amazing Mandalorian helmet. And here's the man himself, a great figure. This is a lot of reuse that we've seen in most of the other Mandalorian figures, but still totally excellent. So the fact that they can make this terrific figure with good articulation and just get tons of use and versatility out of it. The armor doesn't get in the way, so it gets you great motion. And yeah, so they can make more Mandalorians, each unique, even though they're pretty much using the same body. You change the head, you change the helmet, you change the colors, you give them some new weapons, and you've got the makings of one awesome figure after another. Hasbro knew what they were doing when they made this sculpt, and they've done it well. All the Boba Fett's that we've gotten, and all the Mandalorian warriors, excellent. The unique characters, like Pre Vizsla, are most welcome, and they just build up the army and make your collection more complete. More Mandos, please. As long as they stay this cool, we'll keep buying them. And thank you, Hasbro. Pre Vizsla rocks. This lightsaber was stolen from your Jedi temple by my ancestors during the fall of the Old Republic. Since then, many Jedi have died upon its blade. Prepare yourself to join them. And that's our review of the Star Wars Clone Wars pre Vizsla Vintage Collection action figure. If you like Mandalorians, then this Mando is a must have for your Star Wars collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Stevo Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. You can even follow our other YouTube channel for inspirational videos, and that's called Devo with Stevo. But until next time, remember, be kind, stay strong, because you are the hero of your own story.